We are back with King's Quest. We have ourselves a pumpkin. There you go. Otherwise, I guess we can just move on. Hopefully I found what I need. We'll, we'll see. Is this... Can I... There we go. I'm curious about something, actually. Okay, I'm not limited to five items in my inventory. This is to our benefit, I think. Okay, we did the cycle. I was a little concerned about that, but it looks like we're good. Now I gotta remember which way I came from, which could be a little disorienting, because this area is kind of vast. I hope it was this way. Ooh. Was it down or up? I want to say up. Yikes. Oh, double yikes. I'm already... I don't believe I crossed the bridge. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. We'll see what happens. I've certainly passed through this way. But I forgot which way I went. There's a scary animal. I don't think I want to go that way. Did I go past the statue the other way, or was there a different path I took? Well, I've certainly been this way. I do not want to get caught up in the, the ropes. I think I just went to the right. I, I hope I'm doing this right. Don't turn right. Good, this is actually where I wanted to be. So... I got all these bees. Oh, look at all that. That's a lot of bees. Anyway, we shall use the fruit picker that we have just acquired. No little ding for doing it right. Fine. Now I think I gotta go back. But the good news is I took care of the little beehive problem. I'm not gonna interfere with whatever picnic that was. Let us return. It's a lot of back and forth, but we're making it work. If I can cross the screen, please. There we go. Everything's just fine. We have our little jaunt. Everything is golden. Actually, nasty. Nah, well, I did cross the bridge in the first place. Cool looking castle in the distance, but not my thing right now, sorry. Let's go past the pumpkin patch. What? Uh, how precious. The badger wanted to make friends with the squirrels. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I just came around the long way anyway. Can I go in? Get out of here! Scram! Shoot! Beat it! Well, all right. That could have been a problem. These dumb lanterns are always breaking. You hear that, Chester? You're a hack! Not everyone around here takes pride in their work like I do. Unfortunately, those blue flames are the only things that spook the pack. So I'm forced to return to their shop of wizardry and toiletries. Wedzel wolves are super aggressive this time of year. Usually, they travel north to the hills of Serenia for mating season. But like us, they are stranded here until the bridges are fixed. Hey, kid, can you do me a favor? I can try. Can you help me keep that back door closed? I run the local Wedzel Wolf Watch program here in town. There's patches getting made. If you keep that door closed, you can be an official member. Think it over. Patches! I'm the one who opened the door, though, aren't I? This is a disaster. I don't like where this is going at all. Anyway. 
I walked into town with my last coin. Whatever path I chose to pursue for my eye would need to be cheap. All right, so chat, I, I pose to you a question. Am I going to use uh, my coin on the blacksmith, on the baker, or on the alchemist? Please let me know while I patronize each of these shops. Hey, Graham. If you like sharp things, you've come to the right place. We have over 23. Oh, forgive me. Last night was a little rough. I woke up on the floor, my bed nowhere to be found. Can you believe that? What type of Yahoo steals a bed while you're sleeping in it? And the most curious part, nothing else is missing. Anyway, take a look around. Let me know if something piques your interest. All right, I'm seeing different votes already, but I'm going to uh, check the other shops. Next up is the Bakers. Wow, that's some mustache. Hello there, and good afternoon. Um, forgive the shop from lacking our usual favorites. With all the bridges out and my supplier missing, I can't keep all my delicious treats stocked. But uh, hello there, Dragon Years, Winterburn. Welcome I'm to the here stream. To answer any questions? Uh, I'm currently posing a question to the chat. I have one coin left. Do I give it to the blacksmith, the baker, or the alchemist? Those In any case, I love, instead of trickery, I'm not giving this guy my coin yet, but I will, however, give him starberries and uh, sugar shrooms. Ah, these sugar shrooms look amazing. Just the right amount of shroomy and not too sugary. Now, if you can find me the starberries, she's all yours for the discounted rate of one shiny gold coin. Here's your starberries, buddy. These starberries are perfectly ripe, just squishy enough, and with a faint scent of musky cabbage. Now, if you pass me one shiny <laughs> gold coin, Grandma's giant star shroom pie is all yours. Now I'm going to step back out, of course. And it looks like we're leaning toward uh, the alchemist anyway. Well, he happens to be my last stop. Let's take a look inside now that each place is actually occupied with their owner. <sighs> you want the delivery, boy, are you? That merchant is usually so prompt with our air, miraculous, and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Oh, hush feathers, Chester. This boy's no courier. He desires a position in King Edward's court. He appears to be a compassionate gentleman, but he is clearly out of his convent zone. He is one who needs to think more with his brain and less with his heart if he is going to defeat the contenders in this year's night tournament. Zounds! Did you just read my fortune? Zounds! No. Bringing it back, baby. Old and very judgmental people. It's true, we're judges. This is my judging face. Ariel and I don't read fortunes anymore. Yep. There was no future in it. Oh, hey. We couldn't tell fortunes even if we wanted to. Someone purchased our fortune table when we were watching the parade. Oh, was that me? Whoever left us that money is bound to have good fortune. Yeah, I took their table and left the money. Well, sorry. Let us know if you like anything you see. I'll tell you what I will do. I'll provide them with a pumpkin. Now, give us one shiny gold coin and the beautiful blue flame lantern will be all yours. Something mysterious and magical was brewing in that pot. Apparently, I could have uh, dipped the pumpkin into it, which is kind of funny. But in any case, I'll give the alchemist a coin. So you spent your only coin to buy the lantern. Oh, they gave me one more chance, but yes. I did. I figured that lantern would light an alternate path to find... Marvelous. Simply marvelous. Thanks, dearie. 
And here's your lovely pumpkin lantern with a glowing blue flame candle. And now I have myself a lantern. So from here, let me double check here. He reminds me of our son. <sighs> I always miss him this time of year. He An orange lantern with a glowing blue night, candle. Too. And you know what? I should probably ask first before I go dipping things in there. No. How can we help? Do you have any eyes? What? Uh, what's brewing? So, I've just got to Oh, know. right. Eyes of a wild animal. That's that cheating. Cauldron? Is it a transfiguration elixir? Is it an invincibility potion? If I drink it, will I understand the language of creatures? Will I sprout the wings of an eagle? Or a fly? That's oh, very KQ3. Teeth whitening potion. Oh, it's got to change everything. Watch this. The, the listening to animals the and the wings of an eagle or fly is King's Quest 3. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well, we're still working out the kinks. While we're still in the prototype phase, feel free to dip whatever you want in there free of charge. How's potion coming? I guess I'll ask. How's that teeth whitening potion coming? <laughs> While we're still working on it, you can dip whatever you want in it for free. No guarantees it'll come out white, though. Fare thee well. May your quest be logic field. That's very specific. In any case, let's do the pumpkin. This will work great for dipping. Go ahead and dunk it. Ta-da! Hmm. Purple. Well, uh, yeah, ta da! Because <laughs> you'll notice when I highlighted it before, it said an orange lantern, and it's like, well, yeah, obviously. But now it says a purple lantern with a glowing he blue candle. Me of our son. Sounds <gasps> fascinating. I miss him this so, um, he just to check if there's night too. anything I else I need more. to do from or this at least point. Right. It was quite handy around the shop, though. Especially Guess we'll just with back out. He'll return. He just has some adventure. Goodbye. I leave the shop. And other than that... Yeah, I'll just head to uh, where I need to go if I can remember how to get there. Because here's the town, sure enough. But, uh... I needed to get, like, this is how I came in. Where was the stadium? Like, the big tourney area. Was it back out through that back door? Or was it, like, was it all the way down? Like, I do not remember. Which is unfortunate. Have I even been this way? I get the feeling I'm going farther out than I should be. Yeah, I don't, I don't want any of this. Ah, nuts. Here we go. I would assume the stadium isn't terribly far from the town on account of it, you know, being in town, kind of. Maybe I'll go back the other way through the patch. I might want to just go all the way down through uh, this path. Hopefully. Seeing all these new recruits makes me miss the old days. Ahem. Are you paying attention? What? No, I was reminiscing. Sorry. Are you in possession of an eye? I got a spooky eye? I'm ready for the presentation. I have extracted an eye from the most hideous of beasts. Whoa, the snarling Snarlax. It's so purple and flamey. Right this way. Well done. For those brave souls that are still with us, welcome back. Now, you may have heard some squawking from a few naysayers in our kingdom concerned with the ethics of the tournament. But proclamations and addendums aside, this is the way we have always done it in Daventry, and this is the way we will continue to do it. Now, Knight Hopefuls, if you would be so kind as to present your eyes. I know this gigantic oh, thing. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. What the hell? What did you fight? 
I thought it was the two-eyed snarling snarlax with six legs, three claws, and one tooth. No, I've heard of a three-eyed species, but very rare. You've just completely made that up. My uncle once caught a five-eyed. Congratulations, everybody. We officially accept all the eyes presented. I'll see you in the duels. Take that and that! Oh. Mr. Springbottom. What? You're surprised I'm competing in this duck animal tournament? You know what? I will make some stories of my own. <laughs> I'll pick up where my last book left off. It was called 31 Ways to Slay a Monster. Oh, now you've gone and done it. <gasps> Gwendolyn! I'm sorry, Grandma. Oh, I'll take care of it, dear. I came to tell you your grandfather is ready for you. Run along, go have some adventures. Just try to have your next adventure away from my glass vases, please. What's really going to uh, cook your noodle later on is would you have still broken that glass vase if the bunny hadn't been there? <laughs> You will compete against each other in a duel of strength and a duel of speed, with the winners facing off in a championship duel of wits. The pairings of knights were selected at random, so no complaining. I'm looking at you, Whisper. Any ties will be settled in sudden death. The winner, of course, will gain the knight position. The duel of strength will take place at our fantastical and wondrous floating island. And bring Ooh, is it your open? Steed to the tournament theater for the duel of speed. Please unveil the tournament board. I will remain here for any questions. And good luck to you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I almost forgot. Has anyone seen that archer knight around? He probably headed home. He mentioned how hard it was for him to be away from his family. Whisper saw him headed towards the dark, scary well. Well, proclamation 4637373746737738 states that any knight who voluntarily leaves a competition needs to sign the release form on the back of his portrait. We've had problems in the past. Do I have any volunteers to track down his signature? Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you, Pockets. Here's his portrait. If you could get him to sign it, that would be great. And talk to me if you have any further questions. Let the duels commence! I love that he keeps calling me Pockets. That's the ticket. All right, let's do what we can. <laughs> Right, which way was which? This is that floating island area, sure, but I'm not 100% sure this is where I want to be. I'll also check the north side, but we'll see what uh, I'm interested in. Fantastical just a sign. floating island, only steps away. It's so floaty, you'll <laughs> be amazed. You'll be amazed. Now I know Floaty Island's the other way. Aww. I can't, like, look at him. I'll come back in just a moment. There's also... Oh, it is dark in here. You just <laughs> Jeez. into a dark cave filled with vicious wolves? You know, I'm not sure. Maybe I should pause for reflection. <laughs> nice. <laughs> just immediately get killed. However, there's also this. Oh no! I'll be having to deal with that.
Oh yeah. <laughs> I can't aim at the, the little unicorn thing that viciously, viciously kills me. Um, other tree? I wasn't always the master archer you see before you now. How'd you learn? <laughs> we'll get to that part. I can't aim too far down, like, is this it? Like, I really don't have any places to aim. Yikes. Well. No, it's just a bow every time. Like, I'm trying to use, like, or, like, see where I can fire it so that I can cross. But this is not happening. <sighs> this might not be the way I want to do this. I was under the impression that, like, I'd be able to pull this off, but apparently that's not the case. So I might need to reevaluate what I need to be doing. Let's see. I know that there are tests that I can do. They mentioned the test of strength or the test of speed, I think it was. But... Hmm. This ain't working. I'll probably need to go into a different thing. Let's see. Maybe I'll just do that. What do I have on me? I do have the lantern, like, maybe I should just use the damn thing. Hopefully this works. I can see, although it's super creepy. Freaking Silent Hill 1 camera angle here. Mini jump scares. But I'm almost through. Alright, I'm through. But to what end? Bizarre holes were burrowed into the forest floor. And yeah, in order to do the, um, the thing to cross the cliff, I probably do need to find the proper archer knight, but that's, that's the thing. Like, where is he? I hope I don't need to go back. Where do these holes lead? <clears throat> How'd my coin get down there? That's weird. I'm kind of afraid to take that. And where am I even going at this point? There's a guy across there, but what? I don't know what that's all about. Triumph? How'd you get up there? Triumph's stomach seemed to have led him into trouble. I'd have to find a way to get him down. Huh. And this is a dead end. This is wild. Um... How am I gonna want to do this then? Let's see. I'll see if I can fudge this. Maybe I'll do... Hmm. I know there are these multiple things. This is going to drive me crazy. A 
That's not relevant to my interest. Maybe I will just grab the gold coin. What can I say? Gotta go back. Sorry, Triumph. Bye. Stay put. I'll be back with help. Hopefully. Bye. Bye. See you, everybody. Bye. Well, maybe with the gold coin, I can patronize one of the other shops. That'll be useful, too. I was just waiting for some trap to activate if I'd taken the coin. We'll find out. No, that's it. I just get it. Cool. Alright, see ya. Can we skip through this part? Too much walking, not enough dragons. Are they going to? Wow, that's amazing. Wow. You know what? Thanks for that. <laughs> Can we skip this part? Yeah, let's just skip this part. It's fine. All right, fine. Um, but then who am I going to give the coin to? Hmm. You know what? I think I might just patronize the uh, the blacksmith shop this time. We'll see if this makes a, a difference. There is a whole lot of walking. It'd be nice if I could just skip the town, but oh well. It's not that far. What are you doing this weekend? Oh, you know, taking the old lady out dancing. Yes, you've been working on your night moves. You know it. I'm all about the nightlife. Hey, although I forgot I went back to the, uh, the stadium rather than the town. Don't worry, it's fine. Yeah, this is the way to town. Good, 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 good. Everything's fine. Everything's just fine. At least now I have other options. Let's patronize the smith. I will figure this out. I heard some guards gossiping about you training a badger to scare away some squirrels. How long that take you to come up with? I used to chase off squirrels in my nappies. Yeah, well, have a coin. Now that's bold. You don't even know what you're buying. <laughs> no matter. I'll gladly take your money and give you my gardening. That gold. is pretty funny, actually. The only thing you can afford. Here, did give me it? something. Did you spend your only gold coin on the epic weed whacker? I did. The bold. Costs a fortune. That is a sick looking no, wee whacker. Promise me you will only use this for its intended purpose. I shall be brave in all my hedge trimmings. Those plants will never see it coming. All right. Bye. Hopefully I didn't ruin everything. R.I.P. patches. Um. Yeah, okay. Out we go. I just leave the door wide open. What a jerk. Ooh. Is this gonna kill me? Kitty, kitty, not a kitty, not a kitty. I kind of like that you just don't see what it is. Oh, 
Oh, Whisper is voiced by Richard White, Gaston from Animated Beauty and the Beast. That's crazy. And yeah, Alexander voiced the Beast in Beauty and the Beast, which is amazing. Uh, anyway, we got these thorns. We got the spooky well. We got the weed whacker, which I actually will use for its intended purpose. It's an overly complex weed whacker. Haha, -ha, get out of here. Did I really? Man, that cost me my last gold coin. Are you freaking kidding me? Anyway. Back to the well. I guess I'll just go down. A chocolate was last seen headed down here. Shame he didn't find his eye in time for the tournament. But Grandpa, the dragon lives down there. I didn't know that yet, Gwendolyn, and pretend you don't either. This story takes place before the one I told you last night. Sometimes a story is best told out of order. Oh, got it. Well, that's frustrating. That means the dragon's still a threat. So this is the first time we came down here, even though we had to set up the well the first time. It's fine, but let's go. Hopefully I don't have to go through all the same traps as before. I do like this reveal though, this place is gorgeous. I didn't think he knew the competition was over. Perhaps if he brought back an eye, they would let him back in. Probably an addendum for that. You're supposed to remember this from the beginning of the game. Ah! Hey, I need you to sign this! You missed the deadline! <laughs> what a pain. I think I was just looking. I don't know if I'm going to take that path. How do I get down there? Oh, wait. Okay, maybe it'll just let me have it. Nice. This looks quite scary. Alarma Afamata 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 Water Afamata 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 How the hell? Is this even possible? The key went up and left and then directly to the right, didn't it? Yeah, like and then wow. We pause there for some tea and cake. No, <laughs> we did it. Good stuff. Water. Okay, it was like as was going left. How the hell did you do that? Alpha Mata. Alpha Mata. Alpha Mata. Alpha Mata. Okay, it's an obstacle. Alpha Mata. Alpha Mata. I thought that was just gonna like completely in my path. Water.
All right. That's less than good. Wait, two eyes? Yes, and another surprise. We didn't share your excitement. <laughs> I was really trying to make it as easy as possible. Wow. Wow. Nice shot. I don't think I'm doing that. Man, this just isn't happening. <laughs> don't worry, I'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen? This is kind of cool because this is the mandatory path I would have taken if I had gone for the uh, the bravery path the first time. I, I think I would have found him at the well going in to get the eye in the first place, but now he wasn't at the well on the outside because <laughs> we'd already gotten in. Oh damn, it's just straight up an action game now. I was trying to go. Hey. The good part. It's all the good part, Wonder and Jeez. <laughs> Freaking Dragon God from Demon Souls. Oh ho! I'll wait one more time. Faster, please. I don't know how we're going to leave. Oh. Good thing he's a good he climber. He's still after that eye, despite my trying to stop him. He's quite good. Damn. This is one angry dragon. And to think, I invaded his cave a second time, which is the only reason, like... Well, not the only reason, but he must have been pissed after that, that his first time. Hooray! I should go now. Fortunately, I just hold right. What is this? This explains why the dragon has two eyes in the prologue. Also, I'm dead now. Just straight up dead. Like I fell off a cliff onto rocks, I'm dead now. Ah, that could have been worse. There's a tiny door.
This guy was really going for the prize, though. A dragon's eye. He's like stop and go. Luca. Off or not. That's kind of clever. Bringing it back, baby. Luca. Ah. Off or not. Okay, good. <clears throat> Gotta get that hat. Alright, we've done it. What was I looking at? Or was it the cage itself? No, I guess it's the crank. I don't need that. Alright. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, I can use the door. Alright, tiny door. <clears throat> Hooray, we've done it. Damn. It's just not happening. I just love how we're exasperating this guy. So now I got to set things up to make this amazing. So. Buta! Up and up. This is pretty amazing. <laughs> Test of bravery indeed. Also don't fall off the rope. Wow, we're really zoomed out now. Stalama, Stalama. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's great. Buta. Off and up. Damn. That's some archer. Unfortunately, this is a pain in the ass. I just gotta slowly do this, but it's fine. So clever. Buta! Uh, still on, still on. Ooh. Ooh. Well, Almost there, but check where we're going. This is an actual puzzle this time. Buta. Off and up. Amazing.
Am I allowed to climb the rope here? I like I'm hoping this works. Yeah, I don't want to put up the shield. I guess I can walk all the way around with the big shield. Still on, still on. Ooh. I'll take the shield down and have him fire one more time. But we're almost there. Buta. Off and up. I love that he just likes to fire the arrow. Yeah, I can just walk here. This will do it. And this is where it gets crazy. You ready for this? Buta. Off and up. Nice shot. Now I gotta make my way back to him, but we, we caught the tail. I can just run along this and then climb along here. This is like one of those mirror reflecting light puzzles, except it's an arrow and a rope. the door, but... <laughs> nope. Is that just not happening? Looks like now, I needed him. No curses. I wanted the other rope. That's fine. We're almost there. Uh, still on, still on. I'll fire one more time. I need to ha grab the dangling rope, but like, from the angle I was in, like now it's obvious it's well behind me. But when I'm standing like here, it's not as obvious. Off and off. But hey, we hooked the dragon's tail again. But like, see where I'm standing? It looks like it's right above me, so I didn't know where to press. But like, it was clearly behind me when you see the other angle, so now I know it's like out here. But like, that wasn't as apparent. There we go. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that'll rip the door hinges, I guess. Yep. That's great. Damn, this guy's good. Hopefully he left that rope for me. Oh, wow, what a bro. Thanks, buddy. Double thanks, buddy. Triple thing. <laughs> Hooray, I'm gaining his respect. Good stuff. All right. Quite a ways down, but did you see that as the camera was changing? Haha. -ha. Here we are. Still as embarrassing as ever. He just has more rope. That's all it takes? 
A. Now I can do that thing on the other, uh... That, that path I was at where the unicorn was. I could fire across the tree. I could do the thing now. I just upgraded my archery skills. He's alright. This is... That's nothing. <laughs> what? Wow. Okay. This is brutal. Perhaps there's an addendum that will let you back into the tournament if you bring back an eye? Shweki. Alpha Mata. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> Amazing. Shrekky. <laughs> Stalama, Stalama. I'm gonna be nice to the dragon. But we could have taken his eye. We totally could have done it. Wow. Really? Oh wait, he's not eaten. Nope, doesn't matter. Damn, and to think I befriended the dragon, or at least got his grudging respect in the prologue. But I did see a comment in the chat. Like, is this how we get, like, yeah, like, the, the body and the bow? In, uh, I forgot which game it was. But that is unfortunate. However, there's less competition <laughs> in the tournament. <laughs> Damn, just when we were starting to have an understanding. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Okay, yeah, this game. Okay, yeah, yeah, this this is the guy whose bow we get at the very beginning of the game, and we have our proper archery skills because we already learned it from him. Damn, what a twist. No wonder he was face down, so we wouldn't, like, recognize him better. I'm done. I am done. This is not for me. Wow. Going so that was his bow we had the whole time. Yes, I'm going home, where I belong. I was promised wonder and adventure and fantastical floating islands. And what I got was a Daventry that will never live up to what it once was. Daventry needs you, Graham. I know it's not what you expected, but give it time. We can work through the kinks together. It can be great once again with the right people in charge. I'm not that person. And you should stop believing in me. I could get you killed. Fine. Leave. Be a dentist for all I care. I guess the Chaka was wrong. What? what? Eh, nothing. It was nice meeting you, Graham. <laughs> Spill it. Well, a Chaka and I were chatting during your chivalry test, and he had some thoughts about you. Didn't you find it odd that a Chaka entered this tournament, Graham? Did he ever tell you why? Well, he might have. But I only learned two words of his language. A horrendous famine struck a Chaka's village. It's two way. He left his suffering family to enter this tournament. He hoped to seek an audience with the king to plead for help. It was a long shot, even for him. Oh, great. So because of me, a whole village will starve. That makes me feel better. No. I better get because that you, a village bowl that says fill me real quick. Achaka was impressed by you. He told me he was watching you on your travels to Daventry, and that you seemed like the type of person that could inspire change. More so than those bucket heads, anyways. I... I... Uh, if you're not gonna compete for yourself or me, do it for the Ichtuans! They need you! Is there a joke in there? You're their last Ichtuan. hope. Ichtuan.
Oh, and I see in the chat, yeah, is this guy the king watching me this whole time? That'd be an interesting little twist. Guess we'll have to find out. I still awkwardly have his portrait. That is unfortunate. But you know what I can do now? Because I can use my, my sick archery skills to, uh... To, uh, get across that, uh, path this time. If I could remember how to do it. I think it was up this way. Yeah, here we go. This time I'll be a master of disaster. Ha ha! There we go. Easy every single time. Piece of cake. I'd always been a straight shooter, but a chaka opened my eyes. All right, that one wasn't that bad. Well, thank you. There we go. I don't know about the baker or if we're going to do that. But I, I guess we'll find out. Anyway, bye. Beware falling rocks. They're not going to jump scare me, are they? I don't know if there's anything for me to see. I don't think there's anything for me to see. So, uh, bye. Clever that they, like, make me look in the first person, though. Calling my perceptions into doubt. Something is... Yeah, something... Like, rocks fall, everyone dies. I'm still getting a bunch of nothing, though. But there is something up ahead. Whatever could it be? Guess we'll have to find out. Ooh. Creepy. What the hell? Okay, disguised as a rock. That's very clever. They're good. Yeah, I I'm controlling my movement. Like, when I stop moving, they just freeze. That's pretty creepy. <laughs> Oh god. I can't turn around either. That's all? <laughs> it just knocked me over. How did you take out all those goblins? With swiftness? Violence. Violence. You'll have to wait and see. Am I actually just killing goblins? I'm gonna not murder that guy. <laughs> just, ah, oh, ah. I'm quite the crack shot now that I have proper archery skills. I'm auto tracking them, by the way. Okay, there we go. Yeah, when I when I aim a little closer to them, I track them. I'm really ruining all their days, though. I'm just shooting them. I think I'm gonna let these guys go. This is a pretty crazy sequence. I don't know why they're just messing around. <laughs> These guys really need to take a hint. I'm just being brutal now. They're just crawling off injured. Freaking yikes. What? There isn't even text. That's like, ugh. How did you take out all those goblins? Oh, no way, really? Oh, asshole. Move, video games. Yeah, swiftness or patience. I'm doing patience. I can't believe. All right, that's a serious dick move. The whole sequence again. 
Don't make me run out of patience to just murder these goblins. That is a gigantic dick move. Yeah, those guys are free to go. I don't have to really pay attention to what order these guys come out. Right, that was the, the trick. It was like around now that I just started going crazy. Okay, no wonder that guy got me. He came out way before everybody else. That was my problem. It was actually wasn't that hard. I just totally missed that guy on the roof. We good? Me, you fiends. Oh, it's you again. Save me. Save me. Stop this madness. Help. Avail. Dwarf. Infi. Ah! Oh, nice shot. <laughs> Time for you rocks to roll. Boy, that is your name, right? Boy, thank the shining stars! Where did you learn to shoot like that? Now, I'm not a native goblin tongue, but I'm pretty sure I made out the words unicorns and majestic museum. Mr. Fancy Cakes is too barbarous for a caged life. Listen, I want to sincerely apologize for my pilfering sausages, and thank you for saving me. Okay, so chat, we now have a, a, uh, a choice. I can forgive you. Give me back my money! I wasn't trying to save you. So do we have a, uh, a preference? I know which one I want, but we'll see if anybody has a uh, other preference. I see a couple different votes. We can definitely get some amusing options regardless of which way we choose. But if there's a tie, then I'll break it myself. But yeah, we are overwhelmingly going to forgive because the others are just kind of <laughs> like just abrasive. I have been through too much already today. I forgive you. And I just want to say... Uh, yeah, 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 that's sweet boy. Real nice of you. And since we are all square, I have a favor to ask of you. Can you deliver this rare and miraculous ingredient to that amateur magic shop in town? It's a snoozing leaf. Be careful transporting it, though. Once Mr. Fancy Cakes ate one of these snoozing leaves and was knocked out cold for days. And as a token of my appreciation, here is your money back. There you go. Isn't that great? More, but those that's how you get my money. Looted my cart. Well, gotta run. Good thing these shorts breathe so well. Thanks again, boy. I won't forget this. Sudden area. Did the merchant remember that? Ha! <laughs> the merchant immediately forgot that. That's pretty funny. So we now have one gold coin again and a snoozing leaf for delivery to the Hobblepots. There we go. I did it. 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 So um, at this point, I guess I'll just. Uh, yeah, I, I'll just go back to town. If we, you, let, me, let me just see. Is there a way out of here other than the way I came in? There might not be. It's not the end of the world. It was just across that rope. But now I can do the last task. I can do the, the baker. And I can also give the snooze leaf to the, the alchemists. So even though I had a particular choice to make, uh, I'm still ending up doing all three. Man, I can't wait till King's Quest 1 where I get the infinite money chest. Alright, alright, let's get out of here. I don't need to do the cave. I mean, I will need to do the cave, but I don't now. Let's go back to town and patronize both the alchemists. I, I guess they're the hobble pots and the baker.
Although something does occur to me, um, if the short night really is supposed to be, wait a second, yeah, if the short night really is supposed to be, like, the king is a big twist, wasn't the king, like, taller than I was in, um, KQ1, just like a normal sized person? Also, I'm already flaking on where town is, was it, like, up a ways? I'm bad at this, cause I'm. Oh, we you know it, it was. It was near the pumpkin patch. Don't I want to go down like one more path? Okay, good. All right, let's go to two locations. Are they gonna really scare me out of here twice? Oh, cause it's cause is it cause I opened the door to leave out the back? Get out! Shoo! Get off that hay bale! Out of those flowers! Put that sack lunch down! <laughs> no patch for you. You know why. <laughs> but I got my archery skill, I'm sorry. Alright, let's do the, uh, the alchemist first. Oops, there we go. Hey, it's Graham the Wise! Welcome back! Oh, that's amusing. Proud of you. <laughs> Our crystal ball told us all about the eye you presented. Couldn't have done it better ourselves. We were worried that you were too nice to stand a chance in the competition, but you outsmarted them all. You, son, have a bright future ahead of you. No matter your choice in life, we will gladly take your money. Business is business. Now, Chester, can you hand me the frog's breath elixir? Frog's breath elixir? Yes. Uh, where is that? Uh, uh, we seem to be out of... Uh, <laughs> you drank it all again, didn't you? Muriel, my blood sugar was low. Mm -hmm. It's just so tasty. Since you can't keep your mitts off our supplies, we are halting production. This potion will have to wait until that merchant brings us our delivery. If you find a frog, bring it directly to me and I will gladly trade you a sample of this potion. And then I'll have to drink the delicious froggy leftovers. Until then, Weird. no more free dips. Oh no, but I do have a snooze leaf. That good enough for you? Our order is finally here. Well, part of it anyway. Chester, remind me to leave a poor review for that merchant on the town board. Ah, this should do the trick. Mmm, it's close, but it still needs that frog's breath. Well, I'm glad I could help further it along. Yes, and as a token of our appreciation, we would like to give you this, this... Um, Hello there, Fakafan, welcome to the stream. How's it this going? This vial of hypnotic powder. Oh, it's expired. It can work. It was just never finished. Let me guess. It's missing lollipop root or baby's tears. I can bring you a tub to Mr. Fancy Cakes for. No, I remember baby's tears. Raisins. Yeah. Thanks. I guess. All right, I got a thing. Anyway, let's go to the baker's. Time to spend my last coin for super duper real. Graham, a little squirrel told me the news. That poor, snarling Snarlax with purple eyes and blue glowing pupils, six legs, three claws, and one tooth. Sorry if I'm not impressed, but I just can't support the slaying of innocent beasts. Where is the heart in that? The squirrels won't take kindly to that harassment either. Grandma's sugar shroom pie is still available if you want to try to make friends instead of enemies. Well, now that you mention it, good sir. You want that giant pie? It's the only thing I can sell you uh, for one gold coin. Oh, thanks for the patronage. Share this pie with a friend or two or three. Whoa. <laughs> and good luck in the tournament. That's one gold coin? Damn. How the hell did I put that in my pack? Pockets or no, that's ridiculous. A gigantic pie. You are not kidding. Unreal. 
Anyway. Oops, bonk in the wall, but everything's fine. Now I need to put that pie to good use, if I can remember where that is. There are two areas I wanted to check. I don't think it was this down area, but I'm, I'm close enough to it right now that I'll just hazard it real quick. It's a good thing we're auditioning potential knights. That moat monster is causing some serious problems. Have you seen yeah, the latest crop? Yeah, I can't go past that. It's fine. I don't know if they have what it takes. They could always... Goodbye. I'm gonna go north this time. I'm doing all the tests. This might be what I need. We'll find out. Terrifying. Oh, I actually have to. Wow, climb in real time. Damn. Huge. That's quite a reveal. Hasn't anyone told you it's not polite to go stomping around on people's backs? Give me one good reason not to gobble you up right now. I will return with better tasting food. If you let me go, I can return to you with bundles of royal food. You see, I I'm training to be a knight. If you release me, I'll make sure the king rewards you for your troubles. <laughs> You're a little scrawny for a knight. A long neck and a silly feather like that? <laughs> Are you sure you aren't a goose? Yes, Where have I heard this voice? Sure I am not a goose. That's exactly what a goose would say. Lucky for you, Ulfie hates the taste of goose. The feathers are bad for digestion. Now, where do you want from Ulfie, Goosey? Anyway, you would let me cross? Was this guy's voice like Killabilly and Lollipop Chainsaw? Is there any way you could let me cross? Mm, I'm not supposed to do this, but Alfie needs to pick me up. If you bring Alfie back a snack to satisfy his sweet tooth, Alfie might consider letting little Goosey pass. Okay. Happy trails. Waddle back briskly, Goosey. Alfie is starving. And now, giant pie. It does look good. Thanks for the momentary lapse in conversation. Ulfie was unquestionably hangry. Now that I am refurbished, I'll allow you to cross. Though a quick-footed peacock already got to that snarling snarlax. Oh, I almost forgot. Goosey, for your act of kindness, Ulfie would like you to have this. Whenever you need me, just give it a blow. Nice. Yeah, this is one of those things where if I had done this first, then Whisper would have gotten away with the thing. Needs to get back to the guild meeting. It's almost croissant time. Yeah, Whisper would have gotten away with the eye just before I could grab it, instead of he's already long gotten away with it. So, anything else I need to do? Taken care of that business already. I've done the Path of Courage. I got the Goblin business taken care of. Anything else I need to do? I got my coins. Yeah, let's move on. I guess, what else am I gonna do? You know what? I'm gonna let it happen. Just wolves again. That's why you shouldn't wolf down your food. Grandpa! Sorry, my mistake. <laughs> Oof. Three spikes and you're out. Alright, so let's do the lantern again. 
Do I have to walk further in to make this happen? There we go. Spooky forest. Was that it? Let me just go back real quick, just in case. There is this glowy, is there anything? Yeah. Work order. Well, it's mine now. Bye. Can I go to the foreground? I suppose I technically can. Very well. Yeah, there's a couple ways out of here. Where does this take me? That is I crazy. I needed to get closer to hear what was going on. Nice of you to finally join us, Olfi. Merci. Olfi apologizes for tardiness. I, uh, was, uh... Hey, where are the croissants? I forgot the croissant, okay? Oh, mon dieu. Qu'est-ce qu'ils vont faire? Are we here to discuss our demands? Or are we here to eat crescent-shaped pastries? This is weird. Pastries, so... <sighs> if you didn't know the secret password, I would never let you in. Now, now, Pilar, I, I, I need you to calm down, okay? We've made enough waves as it is. Daventry needs their bridges, and gosh darn it, we need to get back to work. You'd think with his giant head, there'd be a brain bigger than a macaroon. Olfi. You're so easily tricked into sitting down. You should stand up for our rights. Well, easy. But Alfie likes sitting down. Helps relieve pressure off my back. Look, Pilar, I'm on your side, but I need you to work with me. We need to build our bridges and get over this. What's this is a dynamic I did not expect. Oh, there is no compromise. Those tiny ingrates go around stomping on the shoulders of giants with no thought as to who is underneath them. They climb the ladder of success and forgot who got them across their troubled waters. What's in it for us? We will show them all what happens when you cross the wrong bridge. Oh, jeez, Pilar, I don't know. I wouldn't go so far as to say they don't appreciate it. <laughs> By golly. I wouldn't go so far as to say they do either. Bridges don't grow on trees. They grow on us. If Daventry wants us to go back to work, those guards need to stop breaking What's our What's this doing backs. here? That Ulfie can agree with. The guards with what? The shoes hurt Ulfie's back. This giant ladder. So, all of us are aligned with the strategy. Don't tell me I'm just going to keep that. That'd be really funny. Okay. <laughs> Shortcut. Brilliant. Next item All right. Should we lift our I'll take that. But shortcut to where? I long for the days of feasting on roasted goat leg with a nice aged raclette. <laughs> I can't examine whatever that is. Oh, okay. And this is the bridge. I guess I'll just summon the, the troll back. Oh, right. The mouthpiece. Excuse me. That was weird. That's so cool. Well, I unlocked a shortcut for later. That's good. That was bizarre, but right, bye. Um. Right. Which way was which again? At this point, I, I've done all three tests, or not tests, I've done all three paths. So now I think I have what it takes to just advance the game the normal way. Let's go through the cave and hopefully skip. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. I love it. All right. 
Now I gotta go all the way around to find Triumph, alas, but we'll make it work. That's where I got that coin, but Triumph should not be far from here. And here we are, but you know what I can do, is I can take this work order for the Crumbler, and I can attach it to this tree, and let's get out of here. We gotta contact the, the blacksmith, because she has the Crumbler. Timber! Well. That job was no match for the Crumbler. Easy money. Damn, get wrecked. All right. Triumph! Hey, buddy! Was the steak good at least? So, I know you just fell out of a tree and all, but there's this duel of speed and I kind of sort of... Couldn't have said it better myself. We're off! Hooray, hooray! say this is the most peculiar thing I've seen today. Ah, uh, don't mind <laughs> us. Yeah, just getting a bit of exercise, really. It's leg day. My name is Larry. This is Kyle. Gra Graham. Oh, them. No, we've been watching you. We think you show potential. You got our support. Well, thanks. Uh, <laughs> you're welcome. We've got your back. If you ever need us, just holler. Like this. Hey! Ah, uh, good luck in the duels. I love that a lot of knights seem to just be on our side for whatever reason. You seem like a cool guy. I hope you win. The only thing racing was my mind. How was I going to get out of this one? Eat my cape. That's pretty good. He is destroying us. We can't even see him. Is he gonna lap us? Are we doing laps? It looks like it's a straightaway. Oh, Maybe it's a lap, I guess we'll find out. But we don't have a damn chance. <laughs> really? Freaking Yakuza of three and four. Nice. Hooray! Not even close. Victory is mine. Take that. He's actually laughing. <laughs> oh, nice. Hoisted by your own petard, Whisper. From My armor is too beautiful for smudges. I think I'm actually controlling the wheel. Branches. Watch your head, Jermaine. Jerry, I can't see. Watch the main. Watch the main. Go left. Left. This is weird. Move right. Got it. Go right. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Left. Gotcha. Go left. Got it. This is not the race I was expecting. I just left Triumph behind. This ain't happening. Kyle, oh God! Distress. Whoa! Got you covered, Graham. Oh! <laughs> oh no! And nice. And nice. And very nice. Very Ready nice. This is freaking wacky, man. Hey, Whisper! What type of stunt are you trying to pull? I bet you couldn't win this race 
Standing, standing on your on hands. Your hands. Whisper can do it. The end of this sentence. <laughs> What's oh, next? No. Right, I'll try it again. That's kind of amusing, though. I like that. Hey, Whisper! What type of stunt are you trying to pull? I bet you couldn't win this race backwards. backwards. What? Hey, Whisper can do it. Oh no. Whisper! Bet you can't win this race. And, and talk with that guard. Legends with those guards. Whisper can do it. At last, the ivory monster unveiled itself. What? So stupid. Hey, Whisper can do it. What? Addendum 2, Section 5 states another lap. Oh, brutal. This is some race. Oh, careful. Ah, got it. Uh, whisper. Bet you can't win this race. Standing on your hands. Whisper can do it. Oof, dead. Whisper regrets his past decision. Nice one, Graham! This is how we beat him. To skip leg day. Uh, he is whisper. fast. Bet you can't win this race. Backwards. Now they don't have a horse. Whisper can do it. See you. Your own reflection. That's pretty good. Bet you can't win this race. This time talking with the guard, baby. And share your legends with those guards. Whisper can do it. At last, the ivory monster unveiled itself. What? That's great. Hey, Whisper can do it. And this time he doesn't have his horse. Hooray, I won Whisper by hook and by I'm crook. So I legitimately won the test of speed. I didn't even run. I was riding a guy the whole time, and he was riding another guy. Oh. <laughs> See you, Whisper. Okay, now I feel a little bad. Just a little. Do I, like, approach him? I mean, I, I legitimately did cheat. Uh, are you crying? Crying? <laughs> what? what? No, 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 whisper, <laughs> whisper can't do it. I'm sorry, Graham, but underneath this mane of excellence is a man that runs very fast, mind you, but a man who runs far away from fear. <laughs> Please stop crying. <laughs> this is like, uh... Uh, in Grim Fandango, where that woman with the the metal scanner, the metal detector, just starts going off into this, like, horrible crying fit about her past and her family, and your only dialogue options are just like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. it's amazing. Fuck Feel up, better? Whisper. You keep doing you. <laughs> but I... <laughs> 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 I do feel kind of bad about that. But what I'm going to do is uh, have him feel better a little bit later. Um, he, he was a jerk, but man, he's really bummed out. But this is where I'm going to wrap up the stream on this comically tragic, tragically comic note. So thank you very much, everyone, for joining the stream, and have a wonderful night.